Hey, what's up guys? I know some of you are YouTubers or amateur filmmakers or you just make home movies even and maybe you might want to step up your game a little bit but you don't have a huge budget and so that's where HitFilm Express comes in. Now there is a full version of HitFilm called HitFilm Pro and I know a lot of people see the Express and they say oh it's the free version it's not gonna be as good and that's a little bit true, however, HitFilm Express is really good though. It'll give you feature film quality editing and effects on a free budget. So let's take a look at how it works. So here's what you get when you first open up HitFilm Express. You'll notice on the left here, we have new and open and here's a section with your previous projects and of course you may recognize a few of these from my YouTube channel if you follow me. Uh, if you click this button you can get an online user guide and while it's free there are some add-on packs down here which uh, add some extra nice features. Uh, they range between $10 and $50 but I think most of them are around $25. So they're still pretty cheap even though it's not quite free. Then, of course, in the main window here, you'll see they offer a ton of tutorials, like really professional tutorials, and just other information about uh, the software. So, let's uh, start a new project. Let's click New. And you'll notice uh, it gives a few settings here and some templates for how you want to set up your size and you have video, audio, and rendering. And then you have two options here. And you'll notice that HitFilm is not just editing, it's also a compositing app. So let's start off with editing. So here is the main editing interface. And you may not look exactly like this uh, when you first started out, but this is the general layout and you have some menu options up here and you have some different workspaces you can choose and you can decide which panels you want to see and, but this is how I like it so starting off up in the left corner here we have the trimmer for editing a video clip before you're ready to actually edit it and we have the history and options for adding text down in the lower left here we have your media, this is where all of your files go before you start editing them. You have your effects section, which there are a ton of effects, I think there's something like 130 effects in here. And we have the controls, which uh, handle those effects and other things. Uh, of course in the top we have your main window where we see the video. And then we have your timeline with the tracks. So let's add a little video just to give a little demonstration. And all I have to do is just drag it from here. These are some footage from one of my old videos. And you'll see it automatically switches to media as soon as I start dragging it. And so if I click that and I move over to the trimmer, you can see I can scroll through the video. And if I want to cut it down, now, suppose I don't want to go any further than, say, here. Suppose I just want to see my feet in the water. So then I can click here and it'll set the out point. And suppose I only want, I don't want to see the beginning, so I can click here and we'll see the in point. And then I can drag it from here down onto the timeline. And you'll notice it says the video does not match uh, the settings that I had chose. So that's fine. I can just click OK and it'll automatically change the settings to match the video. And so there's our clip up there. And you can see we have our audio levels on the side. So down to the bottom here, we can zoom in a little bit. And you can click on it. Uh, to zoom, but I find personally that goes a little too much. So I just like to grab the slider and move it, and it gives you a little more precision. 
And the nice thing about this is that it is a nonlinear editor, which means that if I want to add another clip, I don't necessarily have to put it immediately after this one. And if I take the razor, I can cut that, and then I can drag this one over. If I want some black space in here, who knows why, but if I want some black space in there, I can have some black space. Right? All I have to do is separate the clips away from each other. And if I want to take another clip, say this one, I don't even know what this, cl this clip is, but suppose I wanted a little bit of this clip. Uh, so I'll set the end point to that one, and I can just drag it in. And I can either have it on a separate layer like it is, or I can trim it down by clicking the sides, and then just drag it in to fill in that spot. So that's you know basic uh, how this works. Uh, it's nonlinear editing. If you already know that, then you'll be good with this. And if this is almost exactly like Adobe Premiere, so if you know Adobe Premiere, then you'll be really good to go with this. Speaking of Adobe products, suppose I want to do some compositing and just like Adobe After Effects. So I can click one of these and either click Make Composite Shot up here or I can just right click it and choose Make Composite Shot and it'll let me name it and then I can click OK and now I'm in a scene which is almost exactly like working in Adobe After Effects. So suppose I want to add a f an effect onto here, uh, like uh, let's see a mosaic effect. I can just drag that on, and you'll see it appears down here. And I have some settings to add some blocks, and that's horizontal or vertical. And so there you go. If I wanted to have a, a mosaic on it, and there we go. We can have our mosaic or any of these other numerous effects. And you can do all kinds of other compositing. So that's just a quick little look at how the interface looks. So let's look at how it looks with a real project finished. So here's a video you may have seen that I just posted on my channel. It was a clip of this uh, woman shooting a gun and basically it came from this footage that uh, was available online for free and all I started with was this shot of her on a green screen and I did some camera matching and some 3D models for an environment and then rendered those out and I came up with this and so I also did some 3D muzzle flashes for the guns. So here's another one. And I've got a few planes that I created in of like flat shapes of color. And then I have some audio of a, a gunshot. <laughs> Hopefully I wasn't too loud for you. Uh, then, uh, let's see, I have uh, on the project, you can see I have the video there. That is actually in my composite, uh, which is here. And in that, let's uh, see if I could turn that volume down. But yep, yeah, so we can see our blasts. see our individual individual blasts and here is the the gunshot sound effect and up here these are the uh, the blast there's actually two of them layered up and in this composite shot so this is a massive stack of layers for all the individual gunshot effects so you can see this is the one 
we have some lens flares we have some lighting which uh, flashes on her body oops didn't mean to move that and so I have masked out the shape of her body let's zoom that in a little bit and then I just uh, made it a little bit brighter just where she is and yet we have the lens flare flashing and of course on the footage we have uh, some effects on here a little matte cleaner this color difference key is what's doing the green screen effect uh, spill removal is getting rid of the green uh, that's like kind of shining on her outfit there so if I turn that off you can see it looks kind of like hazy around her outfit and that's no good uh, if I turn off the color difference key you can see the background in there that also has a uh, mask around it to cut out some of the other stuff that was in the background and so that's about it there's basically what you see happening right here and I just repeated that over and over again for each of the different gunshot blasts Okay, oops, I left that spill turned off. There we go. So that's it for the basics of how I did this project. And so I totally recommend HitFilm Express. Like I said, it's free. And all they ask you to do is to send a, a tweet or a you know, Google Plus post or something to your favorite social network. Uh, and then they give you a link to download it for free. And again, there are some special options. And if you really want to move up, like you're, you know, feel like you've gotten all you can out of it and you want to move up to a more professional thing, there is HitFilm Pro. If you liked this video, if you learned something from it, then definitely give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about different 3D and editing projects and uh, Japanese language and culture as well. And be sure to share this video with your friends.